Hi, welcome to our channel. Now today we're looking at another great British church. Um, this one we're doing a little bit commando style because uh, we've done no research on this one, but uh, we've had a job getting in some of the churches that uh, uh, we, we often go and see. So we've come to have a look at this one. Now it's clearly Victorian, but let's go and have a look and see what, 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 what's about. <laughs> So, we've just heard the, the bell strike one, so... That's good, because it's caught the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is, it is Victorian. I have looked at this one before, but we really don't know what we're going to see when we get here. So, you're going to be doing this along with us today. It's a beautiful town. If you look at the steeple, it's quite... Quite amazing. It is. I'm just going to get into a clearing a bit more so I can see that. There we go. We just. Oh, oh, wow. oh, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful. So, now I used to live here because we're in Woodbridge today. And I used to live in this town years and years ago. And it did say that the tower was taller and it fell down. Um. I've not read anything about this church. I'm hoping Paul's going to get inside and have a look at the, so and have, a look. have a look at some details uh, that we can tell you about. But just, just the gravestones in this place are amazing. I would imagine some of the gravestones are actually older than the church. I think they are. I think the church has been here before this one. Um, we just got people walking around trying not to get them on camera but it's this tombstone here that amazes me I'm just going to take it to have a look at it now this church is located in like a square of and it's surrounded by roads. You can actually drive all the way around it. Just look at that, that tomb. And that is for John... Is it John Silver? I honestly cannot read. Ah, yeah, I think so. John Silver. Thomas Temple Silver. What do you know about John Silver then? John Silver, right, well, well we're in a port town. I mean, there used to be sailing ships came straight into the middle of Woodbridge before the river silted up. But you can see someone's vandalised oh, this. It's, it's a shame that, I and mean, as, as we can tell by the, uh, the cider tins and that lying around the back, this is, this is a popular meeting place. Yeah, well it is, like I say, it's, there is a road that goes all the way around it, and I know this... It's an island, isn't it? It is, it's an island in the middle of a road. Um, I know this road here is Castle Street. I've got a feeling that could be Victoria Street. I'm not entirely sure what that one's called, but I'm feeling it's Victoria Street. Um, might not be. Don't quote me on that one. Shall we go have a look inside? But I used to clean a house there. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Oh, yeah, John Silver. Yeah, very famous local captain. Yeah. Well, yeah. why has it got Captain Sir John Silver on there? Doesn't it say that? No, it just no. says John Silver. Uh, Someone Absolutely looks like they're, they're trying to scratch in Long next to his name. Long, Long John's. Oh yeah, could be a relation. So this is the porch. And you can see that we've got typical church architecture here. You've got a continuous roll moulding around here. And it's made to look like it could be a Norman church but it isn't it is really victorian it's victorian gothic but we've read that uh the victorian period there was more churches built in this country than at any other time mm. in our sort of christian history so uh yeah this is it this is a beautiful space if you come through you can see it's very well there we go we've got a sign up there he will teach us his ways mika for two so we're just coming to um the church. Can we hold that? Yeah. No worries. And we're just coming to 
Now this church was designed by an architect called John Clark. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it was built around 1840. Um, and it is quite an amazing church. You just look. It's in lovely order, isn't it? It's very well yeah. maintained. It's clearly it's now, enjoyed. Who um, designed this church? He's actually more famous for designing the custom house in Ipswich, ah. which he had done in 1820. So 20 years before this was designed, he did the customs house. No, this church in 1840 cost three thousand pounds to build. A lot of money. Well, in today's money, it's about half a million. I'm not surprised. <laughs> so, this church was built because they needed the extra capacity. Because there is another Anglican church. It's a bigger one in the town centre. Yeah. And there is Melton St Andrew. There's a model here. Did I just show that? Yep. <clears throat> The model there of the church shows the size of the steeple in comparison with the rest of it. It's yeah. quite. Uh, it is, it's amazing. But I don't think that model is in proportion anyway. It looks very <coughs> tall. Well, so does this building. <laughs> yeah. Have a look. Just looking up there at the, the roof of the chancel. I don't know what you call that in an Anglican church. At the moment. We would say it was a, the, the space for a chancel bell, wouldn't we? In a, it's a sanctus bell opening. But yeah. It is, I think, just decoration. Um, if we look, that chancel's tiny, isn't it? It is. It takes what we need to do. As you can and see. There's no sanctuary, there's no communion rails or anything like that. Just a table, yeah. just a communion table. Do you want to just go in there and do the glass? Yeah. This is absolutely outstanding. <clears throat> this is an axidal, axidal, what do you call that? What? A an axe, it's a round chancel. Yeah. I don't know what the name is. Loving memory of God, but it's right. Now the figures are by E.R. something, apparently. Ah. Oh. And they are Samuel, Dorcas. Oh, yeah, Dorcas. I think that must be Dorcas there. Yeah. And then St. Peter. Has he got, yes, he's got the key to heaven. Yeah. Um, St. John. St. John. And then we've got St. James. Yeah. St. Andrew. Yes, he's got his cross. He's got his cross, yeah. And Who's this? Nahum. Is it Nahum? No. No, I think. And but as his wife's maid is yeah. there. Oh. I don't know what she why she was important, but she's up there. The first and the last remember young children apparently. Yes. The others are various parishioners. Last one, the so, memory of Muriel. Yeah, so they are these very young children, eight year old there. Look at that, though. You've got the plaque up there to who's floored is and benched it. There's a different smell in here to a traditional, you know, to a medieval well, It is. I mean, we've got lots of modern tech. If we see, we've got projectors, speakers, yeah. two screens. Our oh, local cinema haven't got that. It's these shades of pink. It is. It's lovely. You know, you look at the ceiling. Oh, the I hate to go up there and paint that. Deep pink. Deep. You know, what do you call that? Cranberry? Cranberry, yeah. <laughs> I work for do like they probably had the exact show. But then it's three colours. Look, you go cranberry, then you've got that go up to the cream colour pink, and then you've got pink, you know. It's beautiful. And it's reflected in the blinds. It is, yeah, the blinds. Everything in this church has been thought about. And there's a we call that a gallery, yeah? A gallery, yeah. Yeah, that's no problem. Unfortunately we can't get up there. They've locked it. They have locked it. God. But I would imagine you'd get an amazing view of the church from up there. Yeah, we, this is probably the first Victorian church we've visited whilst we've been making YouTube videos.
but it's, I mean, the whole building, everything, there's nothing, this place is looked after, and yeah. it's, it's in lovely order, and people care. We've, we've been questioned as we've come in, so there's people concerned that, who are we, and are we okay. here for nefarious now, reasons? Before we started filming, I did tell you that when I lived here, there was a story that they had a bigger spire, a bigger tower, yeah. to this church, and it did. But um, it was considered unsafe in 1981, and it was reduced in height, and then it was replaced um, in the early years of the 21st century. So that's ah. why we've got the spire up there. It's funny, when I lived here, I don't remember the spire being the way it is. Do you know, I think you're right. I, I, I can't remember it being that sharp point, if I'm honest. No. Look at that, look. Even got a working clock. How right? often does that happen in church? But well, there was a thing. It was a parliamentary act of the clock. Well, that looks like a. And that was in the 1700s or the 1800s. Yeah. Where it was Peel. I think it was Peel. He wanted to tax anybody who owned a watch or a clock. Yeah. And so churches and pubs started to have parliamentary clocks. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I was hoping you were going to come in with a bit more history because I, I, sort of I, I don't know you who know. <laughs> no, clocks, they wind me up. But that is. It's beautiful. This is St John's Church in Woodbridge. I don't think there's really a lot else that we can say about it. Not unless you want to go around the outside and have a look. No, there's not, nothing really much to say. But uh, there isn't. It's just a nice, simple. Pretty church. It is. You know. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. And until next time, thanks for joining us.